absolutely amazing to think that the, out of the, all that stream of thoughts, that, that in no instant are you ever any of those thoughts. You know, it's just an assumption that I am the thinker of the thoughts, to say I have a thought of pain, or I have a sexual thought, or this or that, the I is identified with it. Like, I have thoughts. And it's really, we could say, in, in our state of pure presence, it's so still that, that those kind of stream of thoughts that we're talking about, you know, doesn't have anything to do with the identity. So, the Course will say it, it takes two to believe in sickness. For example, if, if you have a mind that knows the impossibility of sickness, then sickness becomes impossible, because it would take some kind of an agreement in the illusion to give the illusion a reality, not a real, not a real reality, but just in, in awareness a reality. And I was on a conference call with Spain this morning and, and our friend Frances was talking and she was describing a point where she was in California and she was just in a plate of, place of utter devastation, just really, she was sitting by a lake, she said, utter devastation, and then she just cried out for help. And she said, um, Jason showed up, and she started to just talk about how devastating she was feeling. And Jason just kind of smiled and looked her right in the eye and said, there's never been a time when you were not happy. And he had a glow on his face, she said, and he, she just was like, and she said, I just snapped out of it instantaneous. And another time I remember with you was, uh, I was sitting meditating in the hot tub at our monastery, we have a monastery with a hot tub, it's kind of cool. I was sitting there and, and just meditating in the hot tub and then we saw Jason come out of his cabin and he's a, it's early morning hours, he's whistling, he's happy, he goes over into this other place and he, I guess I heard the story, he went up to see Suzanne and Suzanne had just been awakened with this nightmare, a really vicious, vicious nightmare. And when he came in, she said, Oh, I'm so glad to, you're here. I needed, I needed to talk to somebody. I have to tell you this nightmare. And he said, No. <laughs> he said, I'm in a miracle right now. Join me. <laughs> and, she, and she did. <laughs> she actually just popped right into the miracle. And, you know, she was so much, so glad that he had showed up to tell her nightmare. And he wasn't the least bit interested, and it just shows, it only takes an instant of joining, and how powerful that is, to pop right back into the Divine. And we, it doesn't have to be like this long, drawn out process, you know, it's, it's really encouraging when you hear those stories, because it just shows you how powerful it is, and if you stay in true empathy, if you stay in what's real and true, you just simply radiate that and extend that to everyone and everything. And then they reflect it back to you. And it's amazing the, the power of our mind.